Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey guys, it's Tyler Beast, and I am here with my my another rock commentary of the of the comp, of the sports comedian. This time, it's another take. Wood Spoony is back. Hi everyone, it's good to be back here and ready for tonight's guy. I'm ready to have that one covered. This next part of the matchup, as we have Connor Halabaki, is facing on against the other team as the Winnipeg Jets go on against the, the Dallas Stars. Now let's have a look at the superstar factors of the starting lineups. First one starts things off here for Dallas Stars. Jason Robertson has one of his snipes out of it as Ely Puck settling. He does with his better take in his another offense that he has done. The better play of this, he's putting it in here at the right timing. When he does it for one of his long distance to the goal, he has that one in there, he can give that one a good look. Next is Miro Keskinen. He has it in reverse, and now he has only an alien skate backing to go with the ability. He goes backwards, and at that point, he's really well enough to have it in there. But then, everything we'll have to try to find out if he does more to take. Then Jake Ottinger has an energizer. You see what the desperation stays in its maximum. But this is what the team's energy does. He brings their team to life. That's what they were doing for to get it in there. Then Luke Kitts gets his wheels with his Ely skating with the puck. He flies fast and he does really well to have an all chance settled in. I'm, like, I'm hoping there's another chance for Rupins to get into this part of the game. And finally, it's Joe Pavelski with the big tipper of this Illy shot deflections. I'll find out if he does one if there's a deflection in there to have a good tip off and with that goal. And now over to you, Wood Spoonie, for the Winnipeg Jets. All right, thank you so much. There are only a couple of star players. Connor Hellebuck has a dialed in. Maximum Saints went on the wall. He might be looking for a chance to have it over. But after a lost win against the Colorado Avalanche with a disappointment effort, but this time their team is ready to bring things on to move on to face against another American team. It might be what they are going for, but there may not be anybody that can have that one up with the shot. Then it's Kyle Connor with the wheels and the better chance. Unlike Wu Hicks, he has a, a better look at his position. Might have to go with another takeoff for the wheels on a fast break to go for the flight off right in between the zones. Let's see if Kyle Connor does it. And now sending you over to the other side, we're ready to get this thing started. As right now, Paintbrush is standing by for the main comment. Uh, commentator, along with the other uh, few. This time, he saw along with the uh, ultimate you all call for. With all the best, it does for all. With ballpoint pen and light bulb, here are the first commentary. And in the center ice, I have not what all call for. It's OJ, as he will be in the center ice. Let's get the sign started and get going. All right, stars in the Jets, ready for action. All for you. against the Winnipeg Jets. And we're off the start. Ready to get this game going, show it all, as the Stars face on against the Winnipeg Jets in the second round. Ready to start things underway? That's paid for some long with my other commentaries of the crew. I also have it along with Maple and Ballpoint Pen. This is NHL on EA Sports, coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Pitch wins the face off. The starting goaltender will be will be Scott Butchwood, and the other side is Connor Elba, the starting goaltender of the matchup. Surfing's over right now, here's Harley. And a rebound on his hit. Kabilski finding a pass over here now, and the Jets will have another chance opportunity range. This one keeps it out. The Bucks stays alive into the Jets territory. Connor now finds Shrekelly. Big hit by Jason Robertson. And now, big chance. Here's Hintz. Big save by Philadelphia. 
on a shot ranging mound, looking to see what they could do with their first postseason at that franchise record. You know what they always say, because the Winnipeg Jets are really like in the better tradition. After being a successful team against the Colorado Avalanche, they've been really are starting to get that one on their troublemaking. They have never been playing it before, and they have finally dug it out, because it happened with the Winnipeg Jets. They lost against the Minnesota Wilds last postseason. This was nowhere about how this happened, and that all of that look in between, you have to believe what you've got to go for. They are really starting to make that transition, and this is a way that they have to get that one moving. As the Stars wins the face off, he finds Heskinen again to DeAndra. Gives the game to Barley. Barley shoots! Not enough to beat there as Alabuck will sign to stop the puck. Goal pressure coming on here for the Dallas Stars with 18 26 to go. Now to Ray for their face off. In the shade, looking for our face off win. And he wins the face off. Marshman makes her team up. Full pressure breakout. Mullerman stops that puck. Delandre now finds it over to Hannah Marchman, so Marchman, and now Lindell again to Marchman. Looks again to Lindell. Lindell shoots. Big save by Golak. 18.04 left to go. Full pressure with under 4, 15 seconds. Here's the look in between. I have it across. We all call for one. It's another one. It's Paul OJ. Jason Robertson is one of his better taking of his snipes and ability. He has a lot of them to take in between, and he has his own. Connor Gullibuck is just trying to make his way in, but Kyle Connor has to see really do it incredibly that he does with his wheels. Fast break on the offense might be turning it in. I'll find out. There's another go-ahead chance in between. Back to you. Open oh, save here. Now Bucks leads his own as Winchwood would have it over. Now has it again to Lindell. The Dallas Stars are back in the offense, and now it's Robertson with the puck. Fighting his way across, right towards the right wing. Moves it across. Susan, save here by Hellebuck. Now he finds it over again at Hankapa, and Hankapa will now have it again to Lindell. Lindell gets to Robertson. Robertson to Lindell, again to Hankapa. Shoots it, blocked and denied on a shot. Velarde with the rebound, and now we'll have it over again in a take by Morsi. Morrissey toward the right wing. Looks it in. Shoots it. What a block. And that one stayed out of the zone as the first rejection comes over for Rook Hintz. You know, Rook Hintz is not always what they do. This one has really turned to be like a hard transition. Gotta make this one a quick. Yeah, I love to say about Rook Hintz, he's been really playing it really well. But that excellent performance is now a hard way to do this. Because of right at that moment, they're really just trying to start with the struggle a little bit. They ain't making this one a lot harder and challenging to do this one more. They have to do a lot of the way chain in there. Oh, no! That was the chain in The first goal in the game won the second round. I see what Jamie Ben does this one here. He may not have a little bit of intent, but that it just slid and it crossed right now. It just comes in the same day. Watch what happens. Jamie Ben, see, whoops, and pair of things happen. Back has been an error here, and that one was excellent. I have never seen that goal when he was trying to make a diving play and put the puck in there with a the foot on top of it and had that goal start away. I never see what it goes in there, but that is like a crazy goal. No one has ever expected of how that happened. And the dryer now fighting Lowry with the first goal for Dallas Stars. And Duchesne will have it over now. Here's the Andre. Again, Duchesne. No chance here, Hellebuck says, as he stops the puck with 15.43 to go. Lots of time left in this period. Stars start things up here for the second one in the first game. Harley wins the face off hard and with a shot, Hellebuck makes a stop. 15.38 to go in the first period. Still trying to find an answer and to have the first goal. As the win will put up for the Winnipeg Jets and Steelers will have it over to get the PR. The Ops trying to figure it over out here. Again, the Monohan. Monohan tries to swing it across. And a rebound puts in for Huskinen. Here's the Andra. Now has the pass over to get to Marchman. Listen it up around the boards. 
Now it gets to Carly over again on the end. On the back hitch, shot blocked. Sliding across, no open way to go. Stars keep their position. Shoots it. Try to play at the end in there as Dylan tries to make a stop. Big hit on the play for the Stars defenseman. And now with some new line changes, as now Johnston's on the ice ring. Tries to get off Stinkerman's shot. Not enough to beat there as Stinkerman has again to work, man. Let's see Gamma Stankovan again to Lindell. Lindell gives it over to Gamma Stankovan. Looks now to Lindell. Lindell fires away. Shoots it and makes a stop. Oh, Ellenbach. Unbelievable moment. He's, he's just okay now. And goodbye now finds again to Stankovan. Looks again to Johnston. Johnston turns around. He's going to be back by. Big stop by Ellenbach. This one stays out of his own as Mark Vader tries to recruit the puck. Sir is still going. A little of the full pressure for the Dallas Drew. Back again to Stankovic. Team is on the roll, looking the way in. Looks at Lindell. Now they're on the full pressure chain. Lindell shoots for save. Alvax holds his puck in with his 13 33 to go. You know, they're always not perfect in their shape right now because they were really just starting to make this one slowing down. I don't know what's going to happen. Because you never see what's going on right now, and they, they really are making this in a lot of the better appearances, and they are making this one a hard challenge to make that rough call. They're never going to let that happen. And the first penalty kill will be called on Dallas with a tripping as Hank across the penalty box. Now, that's a bad call. No one is ever going to care about that. That was going to be a rough mistake. Nobody likes a call. Too bad. Got to fix it up here more than that. As Kyle Connor makes a trip, it'll be their first power play for the Winnipeg Jets with 13.23 to go. Now we will put it up as here's Morrissey again to Eller shot. Great block on the center chain. And Connor will have that puck in right back again to the drain. Keeps the puck out of here, and as Harley will now have it over to get a Fox Fires the puck out of here. Hit on the play. Now back to the Dryer as the power play still continues for the Jets. Namsikov right towards it in the middle. Trying to watch for a shot. What a chance by Witchwood. That'll be his first save of the night with 12 46 to go. Now it's up and ready again. Stars still have a 1 0 lead in the first. And the win puts it up. Connor shoots it and saved by Witchwood. Now finds Steele. Steele will grab that fuck out of here as now the rebound will pay in. Takes that fucking bound as fine Koska against the Lindell. Looks to Steele. Shot blocked and he went tumble down. With one minute on the power play, here's the dryer. Oh, a long moment! That's Huskily on a big track down! There's no way that they're ever expecting it now. I mean, they really are making this one a lot harder than the challenging is. This is paying in a big barrel takedown. Gotta watch out with that play if there is a chance call. Dallas Stars trying to keep their alive as it's still a one nothing lead, 12 10 to go. Dallas Stars wins the faceoff. Hands his team, bringing a recoup here as right now with only 40 seconds and 12 minutes remaining in the first. Here out now finds Perfetti. Perfetti. No penalty, and there's Sinev. Because right now, Matt, that head of will be out of the penalty box soon, but Christopher Tanev is in the penalty box. And now that's a bad one in the player pool. And right now, as they're probably they're bringing an extra skater, they are not doing so well. Not bringing it hot on that play ball, and this is not what you do. You don't take a chance here to try to step somebody out. Stars with a two-man penalty kill. Malorny shoots, it's blocked. Try to a big save by Witchwood. They used to back out of here as Sutter will have their new group in a change. Here's Morrissey. On his way back down again to Shifelli. Look at his transition here. Ties and room. Malorny hit the goal post. And an air penalty is called on Sutter. Now this is bad. Ryan Sutter had tripped him over. That was not trying to be good, and now there's three guys in there. But it looks like the Hanky is almost ready to get back out there. Mm -hmm. 
Stars are disappointed right now. Now it's another power play chance here. It's a five on three, we'll be out of here. And now the way we'll play it for March Bay. And here's Connor's shot. Can't take it over, and Fox will try to keep it out of here. Now back to the five on three, and it's right now, here's Wanahai, blocked the shot. Here's Seifeli, crouch down, great defensive here for the Stars. Vaska gets the puck out of the zone, and now we're going to race for a chance. Vaska, for sure, and it's stopped by Hellebuck. Under 11 minutes remaining in the first period, still looking for a goal head goals. Here are short game ones. As they're shortening the troop wins the face off, as Heskinen will now have it again to Powerly. And this one plays still under rain pressure, looking to see what they can do. You know, they played it really well. I never seen other shortening goals are doing really well. You know, better plays than that. They're really trying to have that one with a hard, hard look. You know, it's not easy when you do this one every single time, but that is really what they all expected to do because no one has that one with the right judgment. I have no other complaints of what they are going to do whatsoever, but they really are starting to make us a lot of appearance that bad. All because of Ryan Sutter, he was made an in extra shot. And he scores! They tie this game as Ellers has the power play goal, now Brad's to bring it to a 4-5 of the power play ones. It's a still short handed. As for Ellers for right now, this was not what you always expect to do because Ellers had this one a great look. Better chance effort, being much good over it. That's what they have mentioning with that goal. Starting things off, one by one, and two and two. As right now, this first one starts things up here for the Jets. As of right now, it's a tie game. The win will play it in for the Stars. This hang up I will try to carry the puck out of here. And here's Johnson with a recovery of the puck in the offensive down. It goes back to Connor. Again to Monahan. Monahan with 10 minutes in his passing the midway record period. Hit that save here by Witchwood. Finds Ingepa. Here's Willardy. Willardy right towards the center. Broken the pass play by Lindell. Lindell trying to watch that smooth loose puck. Johnson's got it now. Back to the outside. Looks like he's time ready to get back out there. Ty Crowley passes again to Kyle Cutter. Easy look. Saved by Witchwood. Power plays over right now as they're all back and even. But the power play goal was the Jets. You know, easy what they did right now because that power play goal needs to have that one shutting down. That motion is greatness. But this is not what they always expect you to do. They need to have that one with another time take ability. They needed more room. They got to get it done. Saved by Hullabuck, and now back again to Morrissey, again to get the Malardi. Here's Monahan. Monahan kicked the puck out of here, and then another hit, four Dallas Stars. Morrissey will have that play. Kings across again to Malardi. Morrissey has that puck. He's again to back to Malardi. Malardi went down. Here's Harley, looking for another chance to make the effort. Here comes Gitz. Back to Robertson, looks to Kuskin in a reverse shot! This one's knocked it out of here! Uh oh, bad number penalty call is gonna be on the stars! Uh oh, that is not what you're gonna do. You can't trip somebody over like that. And this is what happens in last call. Just like Ryan Sutter does, they're gonna have an extra power play on. Now the penalty kills on the Stars, they are in trouble now, but this one only is just the beginning in the first period, still tied up. As for the win, here's a chance for Ellers, return to Tyler! What a quick! And it's stopping! Slider has that puck in there and trying to race it out. Here comes Danzica, big stop in the play here by the goaltender, a steal will try to carry it for County. Now here comes the driver right towards the right wing. Finding his way to Ellers. Stopping the play. There's the cop. Block the shot as the puck escapes his own. For Ferdy, Ali Fosca. Push around it. Way missed and it's off the goaltender. That reaction out there is going to be turning up quickly. 
Bad Mesa Main that this is not turning to be what they're easy to go for. And they are really expecting that. Uh, they are really are trying to get this one in there. That is a better taking offense, but that is what they don't do. They really have that one coming in there big. Here's a sire passing over with a shot in the rebounding. Oscar with a ready move. Swimming. Not enough to beat there as Hellebuck with the save. 6.53 left to go. Trying to exit out the Winnipeg Jets' power play. And now it's back the other way. Rolling down on air center ice. The Stars and the Jets are still tied. Rubens wanted to get that short end win. The faceoff will win, and now here's Tanev. Got a little bit of plank range range. Lindell will try to get the puck out of here, and now finding Tanev. Tanev gets it across now, swings the puck. Now finding it over again to Rupens. Rupens trying to find a shot to Tanev. Not enough to beat that timing, and with only 20 seconds in the power play for the Jets. Here's one of my shoots. Say, this was right behind the net. Lindell's got that puck. Keeps it out of here. Unable to clear the puck out. That's saved by Witchwood. And this will end their power play for the Jets. Only a one or two range for in between. They really have to be clear now. I mean, what they just did is just because of what Lindell had done something with their team wrong. They had no other idea of what's going on. This one is a bigger and implatable that they really are trying to look and go for. This is not what they do. They don't play games that well. I mean, this is not what they are playing for. They've got to keep that game in for real. Has he should save by Hellebuck. 5.30 left to go in the first period. It's still tied up. A lot of time left in this period. Fans are still making some noise looking for go-ahead goals in the first period. Still tied. It's 1-1. And here's Heskin in with the puck. Finds the pass. Over now to Marchman. And uh, Marchman will have to avoid that call. And here's Harley. Shoots and save. Puts up by Gullivan. And back to Duchesne. His puck is broken up. Duchesne's got that puck in now. The Dallas Stars will have their position. Players are pressing on the net. The Ledge will now find it again. Heskin in again to Harley. Harley, third back hander is Velarde who makes the stop. And Connor will have that bucket racing out. Heskin and watching it go in reverse. Moves around, Wedgwood makes the save. And he now gives it off to Preskin and now he finds the Landra. Here's the pass and the breakaway to Marchman. Shoots it. Oh, it was shot big later, but that didn't work. As this one stays out. And Dreiner went down as Pavelski will have that one again. Finding an open room to Harley. Here goes a chance. Two on two. Not the best play to be here as Morrissey with a puck steal. And that penalty will have the desire for Harley. It's not always great enough, but that is not what you do. Harley's in the penalty box. That's the second time he's been doing too much again. Can't do this again more than once. Jets are adding another power play possession. A lot of time left in the period right now with under four minutes. They're just getting killed. Yeah, it's just what they don't do. They don't play really well at all often. This is because they've been called the struggling. They don't play that really well, and they were really trying to make that one out there. Here comes Steele. Short-handed. Not enough to beat them. There's the nab. Now points again to Foxcat. Foxcat is shit. Save by the play. And beyond for the rebound. Find Velarde. Under three for you to go in the first period. Now finds again a Monahan. Both saved by Rushwood. 322 left to go in the first period. Still getting a lot more room to catch their breath before the next face-off. And a lot of time left to remain here. And just a couple more left to go. The win puts up for the Jets as now puts again to Perfurdy. Referdy again to Velarde. Back in there, blocked it up by Marchman. And Sutter will have to keep the puck out of here. now. Heskin will have it. Try to hold on with the puck assist, and Sutter will have it again. Find another room to Johnston. Poke it out. And here's Marchman. Lose that puck. Heskin in. Listen again to Sutter. Watching the outside play call. 
Coming into play, Gray HF Fine Sports Band. Basket in. Nothing here. Sibling over the puck. Here's a chance for a rebound. It's knocked out. And yeah, that's a request into the other side of zone. Unable to make the play here. And there's, there's another penalty call. That one trips him up. You can't do that with other players when they're doing. That's because now Johnson, he is messed up. Somebody who goes on to it, and you are in the penalty box. If you did something wrong to it, you're doing a lot of mistaking. You're not going to start things off here and start to trip somebody over. That way it's a bad call and works. Strong any goals here for the Dallas. Only 219 as they're on a 5 on 3 advantage. As right now, Tom Harley will be out there first before the power play resumes for the Jets. And he will try to keep the puck out of here. And Gapad lost the puck. And Connor with the puck. Just a 10 seconds for a 5 on 3 advantage. Great choke check on here by Quindale. And a shot saved by Wichroy. As the 5 on 3 is over, it's now back to 5 on 4 advantage while the power play resumes. The wind puts it in as Rupens will now fire and sling it off, and he will fire the puck out of here. Haynes is on a court on a rake. Watching Kyle Connor. Off to Ellers and back to the dryer. Winnipeg back in the offensive, trying to pick up the attacker loose. Amsterdam can't hold on with the puck staked over. And Ellers, not enough to beat there as Thomas, Har Thomas Harley will clear the puck out of here with 1.20 to go. And here's Morrissey, he will now have it over again in the dryer. And back to Ellers. Ellers right toward the center, shoots it safe by which one? Ben on the carry. One minute left to remain in the first period. The pass broken up. And here's the driver back to Morrissey. Looks off to Damstikov. Ellers. Stroking it in. Jamie Ben trying to stop one. Sure, here's a shot. Big tip on the save by the goaltender. Here's Rupins. He's now back in the offensive zone. Taking his way down right back to Harley. Harley gets the Ben. Ben, trying to watch out here. He's ready to get back out there. Then the power play's over. No penalty on Winnipeg, though. As right now, it goes back the other way as Morrissey will have to get into Dryer. They try to trying to beat the goaltending reaction. And a shot, big save. That ends the first period of a tie. And it's changed for the power play for the Jets. And we'll get right into the second period after this. We welcome you back at American Airlines Center as we're ready to start the second period. And as for the win, and this one is ready to be a leave and ready to take on for the second period in the Stanley Cup playoffs on the second round. All right, guys, let's have your take here of how I did for the first period recap. They really have been doing really well. I was really hoping that Dale Pavelski, he might have to choose another way to have his attacker. They're trying to find it. As for Jamie Ben, the captain, he's really like stepping it into it right now. But as you can't let him tell him about how he's going to handle it, it's just not the way if you start things off. That better of his position is going to take it over for the works. I'm hoping there's another great goals in between, but let's see what they do. This is what they all have to do. Keep it out of here at the right timing in it, and don't let them get it back into their offense. They have no idea what's going on. Got to have that one with the right chance in the call. Here's a chance now again. No penalty on the Winnipeg Jets as now it goes back to Villardi. Great book check here. Now back to DeAndra. Here's another take. Oh, Morrissey had that one puck taken over and now it rolls it over. Back to the Jets territory, to the Starless territory. Morrissey was around. Save the play. And he got a goal. Assistant captain does it all. Now that's when you don't see Morrissey to this goal at time effort. Now that's what that happens here. That's what Westwood did not see what goes in for the puck. That one is just a mess up and this was entirely getting changed over. You don't really see that one coming and that was really right behind him and then popped it over and he's a flunk 
that one goes in there, and that's a big gold chain here for the Jets to get on the board. As right now, still are making its way in Dallas to a 2 1 game. The win puts in for the North Winnipeg Jets, as now you will have it over again. Ellers tries to keep the puck out of here. Oh, and here comes a fast breakaway chain. As now you will find a pass again to Marchman. That pass to the line drop. Keeps it out of here and now finds Hankapa. Finds it over to get a Liddell. Shoots it saved by Kullabuck. 18 minutes remaining in the second period. Hold that puck in time. Ready to have an air faceoff. Officials against set. Ready for the faceoff. Still a 2-1 game. It's now on the board in the lead. Off to win it. Here's Hankapa. Shoots it saved on the blockchain. Johnson take that one down for a quick second, but now it's Dylan with the chance. Back to Eller on the other way. Spins around. Now he tries to look in for the center. And a big penalty call on that star is there in trouble now. No way they can't do. You have to watch what you're doing. If you don't get the puck right away, try to do it earlier this time. This is not turning out to be good for Esa Limbo. He's in the penalty box. This is how it happens. Everybody hates that call. And one way to hate the Canadian team is like nobody others. They really do not like that one to be played in the Western Conference, but this is not what their taking is. Yeah, I know. It's not what they really are. They really dislike the Canadian teams, and this is what they all expected because they are really are noticing the Dallas Stars have been a much better team, better than the Colorado Avalanche or the Winnipeg Jets. They're really trying to find another way to have that one stop down. I don't know what's going to happen, but they were really making this one a lot of harder ways to get through it. The wing puts it in for the Stars. And here's Villardi. Back to Connor, now finds Monahan. Here's a chance. Oh, a shot. Oh, boy, I think there's an error on the Stars. And Sam Monahan has the team up to extend it. Now, that's a big problem right now. You have to wait on it because that is, doesn't mean, like, you kick the puck, but that error, that just put it in there, and that messes up. Yep, you see what happens now. That one was no good. You can't try to like kick the puck into the net and you gotta take it out. That one puts an error and this one's not turning good at all. Jets extend their lead. It's now a 3-1 game in the second period. Rupinch wins the face off. Now finds Jason Robertson. Looks again, another shot off. Big shot stepped down by Connor Hollabuck. Mark Scheifele. Wow, what a swipe up for Rupins. This one is going to take it to the worst. Joe Bielski right towards the right wing, and now he finds a look for a big tipper. Nothing here. DeMello now finds Morrissey. Gives it to Scheifele. And Robertson will have that puck in, racing back in. Shoots it. See what a play. Back again to Scheifele. Not what they always expected what Connor Hollabuck is. He's really keeping it in there. But not just how hard one has been turning it in there. And for Joe Kubeski, he's really letting the team that snipe it in there. And looking for Jason Robertson to have that goal. Not another one is not trying to be easier enough at all. Here's Villardi. Right towards the no middle. Gets off to Connor and back to Villardi. And a stolen by the Stars. Here comes Lindo. Backup stop made by Gullabuck. 15-39 left to go in the second period. Still a 3-1 game for Winnipeg. Office is against set right now. Duchesne looking for a runner face-off to get back in the roll. And this one will win the other side as now Dylan will have it. 15-30 left to go in the second period. As Hagenbach grabs that puck seal. I follow. I am Duchesne. And there's a penalty call. They are finally happy enough. And Sam Monahan, Sean Monahan is in the penalty box. There's a quick call. Now they're ready for a power play. Let's see what they can do.
And here's the chance now for Joe Pavelski. If there's a big tipper in there, there might be a one chance in there if we can have that one stopping down. I'll find out if Joe Pavelski has that one big tipper if he makes it in. And the team, here comes the special team, and right now Eskinen will try to get over to get a Pavelski. Eskinen moves it across back to Jason Robertson. Jason Robertson right towards the end. He's still one in Rio Terry. Furander, high enough to beat there. Great chance effort there for Jason Robertson, but it was stopped by Helena. Now the win puts up a DeMello. DeMello will fire the puck out of here. Rupins will try to keep it up. And now he will try to make a big change with Kropovelski. Lowry can't hold on with the puck and now finds it again to Kintz. Puts it again to Jamie Benn. Jamie Benn. Horace is still holding on. Here comes Eskinen. Puts for a big timber. And a ball. Drop blocks. Kropovelski now finds Robertson. Hits. Back to the outside, now finds right to Jason Robertson. And he went with them. Lowry says, no, no. And this is what they don't really have to call for that. That one is like a hard, big takeover. You're never going to like that call ever again. But that is a clean defensive takedown. The Stars will win it as the power play resumes with under a minute left. Here's Harley on a big chain, and this one is broken up the pass. Trying to keep the puck in there. And back to Johnson, he now finds it to Stankoven. Here's a look. Chains for play. DeMello stops that puck. Here finds Harley. Harley right toward the middle, and amazing. Nothing to be in there. I fell back to Samber. Fires the puck. And Stankoven will have it over. Now finding another look in open room. Here comes Duchesne. Behind net. That pass broken by Stankoven. Looks like his time is about to expire. And Arley will have that playable inbound. Here's a chance now. Deep block pass and the end of the power play. Will now bring it to an icing for the Stars. Great job for the effort here for the, for the Jets. They're trying to pick up a screen in there. They want to have that one start in motion. But they don't have another trying time to do this if they can get there through. They've got to make sure they have that another backing into a, a brutal territory. This needs to have a job done for the Jets to get there. And with Wood grabs a block, club saved again to Stinkleman. Pass is broken up, and Shike Philly will have it over on the other side, now in the wing. Open up to Connor. Big save on the play. Unbelievable. That's what's really what they all are chanting for. Wedgwood, keep our play alive. Here's the shame back in. Shot save. Marchman back to Harley again to Donston. Fires it. Blocks a shot. And it's the shame now finding to get a save of him. Here's Harley. Fires a shot. Plus save. Halifax is going to hold that whistle with 12.31 to go in the second period. And now they're ready to do some more. Still a 3-1 game as, as their team still have an advantage. And here's DeMello. Up again to Morrissey. Big stop by Robertson with a stick lift. And Babelski will now have it again to Lindell. Here's a chain to Babelski for a tip in. Hey, it's didn't have the right time to make the call. They have a loose helmet right now. Joe Babelski will have to get a new helmet replacement. Yeah, of course he did. I mean, he lost that helmet already. I mean, this is what they don't do. They don't have that one right time. And they, they got to have that one another good call. They're making this one a lot harder, challenging, and the difficulties are making this one a lot insane. And the icing whistled on Dallas Stars with 11.51 to go. Lots of time left in this period. Dallas Stars trailed by two. As the win puts it up, the Woodswood makes a stop and back to Lindell. Here comes Jason Robertson. Off again to Marchman. Morrissey takes the puck away and now it's Damstikov. Over now to Perfetti. Perfetti trying to handle it in there. Another chance. Look the puck out of here as Jason Robertson will now have it again to Rupens. Rupens slides it across the right now towards the board. And it is Marchman. Chance for Robertson. Broken up the pass. 
Mansikoff's got the puck. Chips in the territory. Fires a shot. Save on the play by Witchwood. Now finds Robertson. Robertson to fire the shot. Shoot, save. This would stay alive. Still puck available for the Stars. Harley has to end the reverse. Big stop on the play here in front of Hullabuck. Back to Robertson. Trying to help the team out, not finding an open room. And Robertson having to have a little backup problem. It goes back into Barron. And as Heskinen went him down, he definitely had received a penalty. Now that is no good at all. That's no playable. No question what happened to him. It doesn't mean that he does it again. That's a bad call for Heskinen. He's in a penalty box. For now, another power play for the Jets. They are already been showing up crazy, and the Jets fans, they're looking like they wanted to make some noise out there with the Whiteouts. That's what they don't do. They really are making this one a lot harder. And this is not great choice here for the Stars to start things over. If you do something well, don't try to hesitate here to get to pick, to pick on a play. They're really making it over. One on one on the fast break. Save by Woodsway. Oh, what a great breakaway chance, as now it goes right back to the Stars, and now finding its way over is Morrissey. Glad another chain to Monahan. Here's Sutter, great stuff on the play, and Rutschwood will hold on with it now. Now that's what you do here to hit the rebound. After a block made right here by, by Sutter, just what happened now, and you just give it off to Wedgwood. Take the pass here. Take a save in there, and that was no lie how much would make the stop. That was pretty in there over Jake Ottinger. Lots of time up in this period. 9.35 left to go in the second period. Shogun and group wins the face off. Wedgwood will try to give it again to Kankapa. The deep play pass over again finds him. He has a chance! No, sorry! Oh, but makes a save with 9.22 to go. Another back and bound, it's still another face off coming in. Rupens is still short handed. And then Sakov will win the face off. Here's Ellis back again to the dryer, again to Morrissey. Poked it out of here, and as Morrissey will have to back it off. But this time it went back the other way, and this one will try to keep it over. And it's the dryer will have it. Off again, shot blocked by Lim down. Jamie Ben, kick the puck out of here, and this one will clear the puck out. Rupins with the puck now finds again to Aikapa. Lindell goes offside. The way for the stars. Lindell will keep the puck out again. We have under 30 seconds for the power play for the Jets. Connor now finds Shifelli. Shifelli on his way to his muscle. And a great takeaway chance here for the Jets. Over down to the Stars. Agnabut trying to hold on with the puck, but this one stayed out. Oh, and that puck is racing out of the zone. That power play is almost finished. And that will be over. Man, advantage is over for the, for the Jets on the power play. Great job here to take the puck out and control. And great save by Wedgwood. You know how this happens now. I was really expecting that this was going to be a lot of change off in between. And they've really been working this way off across the target. You know, this doesn't happen most of the time. But I can tell you now, they really are making this in a lot of a great percentage here. Miro Eskinen has an inverse challenge and can take all of his percentage. He goes in with the puck, tries to go in reverse, and with the defender attacking, he tries to hustle his way down. He's way in reverse, but let's hope if he, can just, if he can take it more again. Here's Harley now, finds it over to get a Heskinen. Great puck moving back again to Pavelski. Looks to get a Harley. Shoots it! Scores! First goal! Thomas Harley with his first goal and slap shot. Brought the team back down by one. After a two penalty kill for Thomas Harley, he's back. With that goal, that happened to be after the Mouski, and that breaks up the pass to Thomas Harley. That bridge changes over. What a chance.
They're all in second now. That's Miro Eskin and is bringing their team alive. They really want that close game. Let's see if we can do so. Rubens puts the face off and now finds Jason Robertson. He finds down the Pavelski. Pavelski. Oh, we're looking for a tie. Oh, Elba Fist made a save. And this one is not a great timing for Pavelski. Now they're ready to do it on faceoff. Nearing a five minute mark of the period, three to the score. In a way, what's up? Harley will have a chance now back to, to Marchman. Marchman took a swipe, and Duchesne recovers the puck. Now finds Harley again to Heskinen. Heskinen, back to Harley. Harley now finds it again to Duchesne, over to Heskinen, short, big stop on the chain by Coltendo. You can say that Hello Buck is getting a little bit of heart pound and he's heart beating right now. But this was never chance for the full pressure for the stars. And here comes Eskinen. Bringing another team back in the lineup as March Man lands in the corner. Looks back. Great puck movement here for the stars, keeping the puck alive. And there's the penalty. That's gonna be on the Jets. Now that is what they don't do. They don't listen at all. That happens to be a slap sheet. They're gonna let that one keep on going. Ellis is in the penalty box. Another power play chance for the Stars. Now the Stars are on their chance for the power play. A one this time. Look at him see the goal puts it in. Group hits. I'm not able to make out of that one and try to get Dylan out. And Puck is up and over, and over the bench, out of play. Still a lot of time left for the Stars, looking to see if they can tie this game. Rupage wins the face off. Here's what's going to shoot. Big save by Gullibach. Jamie Benn, now by Robertson. Off to Babelski. And Robertson will have to clear the puck out and do it again. Now he's back to Robertson, and he's over now finding it again to Ben. Man on the chain down by Pavelski. He shoots! He makes a save! Oh, but stops that puck with only six minutes remaining in the second period with a 3 2 score. The Chips win their face off as the short cannon brings up the Piak. Keeps the puck alive to Stankle Bay. Ben's going to come here to save the puck, and now he will try to regroup again to single Ben. Here's Hintz. Auto wheels in the chain. Give a go. Look to Pavelski. Missed the target. Back to Appleton. And oh boy, that is going to be taking a turn to the worst. And that's a penalty call, and the power play's over for the Jet. For the Stars, now it's a 4 on 4. Well, they're expecting what Jamie Ben was doing. He wants to smash that one, try to pick up the screen. He made a bad timing. This effort is not turning to be great at all, but that was turned to be a hard play, and that's a hit. Ouch. That's going to put in for a medical attention in there, and the Jets are having a, a beautiful chance here. As the team for the Stars wins the faceoff, here's Hankapa. Gives again to Wu Pence. Wu Pence trying to make his way to cut. To slip the screen, saved by Hellebuck. Oh, what a great moment for Wu Pence to get that tied up. But that one stopped the play with 5.16 to go. They really expect, they love Hellebuck. He is an excellent, the legendary doesn't leave him off. But that killer does have it all. You have to have him let his time angle to do it as best as he can. Here's Schmidt, right towards in toward the left wing. Broken up the play as Rupens will try to regroup the puck. Now he's over now, fighting again to Hankapa. Hang about to go for a tie. Saved by Hillenach. Under five minutes in the second period. Just 19 seconds for a four on four advantage. The next one won't be the power play start as they will roll up the continue for the Jets. As for the wing, here's Sandberg. 
Sinberg swipes it across down Honey Schmidt. Schmidt went down. Mordon trying to keep the puck alive. Great stop and great stop by Witchwood. Power play still resumes for the Winnipeg Jets as the 4-on-4 four four is over. Now bringing an extra skater on and now finds Hintz. Hintz tries to get over to the pass. The Lindo shoots and save. Promising. Power on in. Not enough. Kid must have taken it in there badly. Shoots it. Total more rebound. This one's stuffing in again by Hildebuck. Watching the playoff side, and now Lillardi will have it again to Morrissey. Here comes Monahan. Shoots. Bluff saved by Wetchwood. Keeps the puck out of there. And the puck gives it again to Rupitz. Looks like his slime's about to expire. Ruben and Jason Robertson for the back and that was knocked out. Power play is officially over for the Jets. Stayed out here pretty great. You know, I really love that when they're really just making this with a lot of hard strength. They're making this with a lot of terrible calls out there. I don't know what's going on, but hey, let's find out if there's another good go ahead chance. I want to see if there is a big tip in on the inbound. If there's another way to get that one fast. Now as the power play is over, still a 3-2 game. Dallas trailed by one. As there is another one for the faceoff for the Jets, that's Bianc. Shuffles his way approaching now, and we'll have to give it again to Villardi with the deep pass. Right on him, here's Connor. Big double takedown as Harley will have to take over back to get new Shane. Once again, Heskinen. Asking and try to roll it in the cross now, finding it over. Pulls the puck, shoots it safe. That one is still available for the Stars. The Andre lost the puck. Now that one stays up, and Eskinen will have to bring the team carry back in. He finds another one to Marchman. Off the Dillon drop. Chopping over as the puck escapes the zone. Here's another one for Harley, and back to Dillon drop. Man on man advantage. Strike belly. Back to Kyle Connor and now finding Villardi. Tanev watching him. Shoots it safe. Puts it back by Tanev with another big stop. Now Jamie Ben will have to be out there and be very extra careful to be in. He scores! What? Johnson! Big ties it up. Now that's what you do, Lloyd Johnson, and this one is here in the puck moment, and that's where you take it. That puck stands here for a great goal. To Jamie Bay, the Stakeman, and now Johnson ties this game. What an excellent take for Stakeman. He had that one to take all of it, but he had nowhere else to go, so he might just take the pass over here to Chris it. He just had that one, it's almost turned to be a goal, no goal attending. That must be almost a goal interference at this point. Not to be anybody else's idea, but that is where it takes in. A big shot takedown for Stakelman, looking for another assist if he takes it in. Keeps it over to Stakelman for the leadoff. Nothing here. Hellebuck bringing the team alive as it's still tied up. We're nearing a one minute mark in the second period. And the win will play it in and now finds again to the dab. Shoots it, go for the departure in. Vasca said no nose. This is going to take over. And now Vasca gives it again to Sutter and gives it to the dab with under a minute to go. Sutter gives it again to the dab. To the to fire it. And that goes up and over the net. Out of play. This seemed like there's going to be another take in there. If there's a goal ahead chance, a faking goal, a goal lead, or it could be in our way to have it stop. Schmidt moving around in there. A great chance here to try to break it up. Samber trying to hold it in with 20 seconds. Here comes the driver. Now the full pressure is in for the take. Tanev trying to keep it out. Here's the leadoff. Lowry takes that puck away. Lowry 
post beater, and Smith clears the puck out to Steve. Now that ends the second period. Great chance here for Stakerman to Johnston. They're all tied up. We'll be back with the third period where we take a break and get back into action. Third period is next after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Hey guys, it's Boomer here. If you're all looking for another look of a new Skips channel, this will be the next one underway soon. As we have a next one that's coming in, that will be the truth on the other side. This one will be all talking for of how that happened and what to remember with in the past. This is all because of what they are expecting yet. This will be all for our next new secret to go back into Hotel OJ. And that might be the next place to have it in there, right in between those two. From taking lounge in bed, and before their, before their next appearances come on to the screen. It's what they all do, but the truth might get things done right away. But there's another way that they will have to try to do if they find another look of an open sketch and make a design right in between of a good or even definitely a designated character. This will be the next one that will be happening on July 29th. If not, this will be rescheduled here to rechange it going into October or from next year of February 18th. But that won't be a hard pressure at all if it's another takeover. And that being said, the next one that we will have is the uh, opening your picks will be the NHL 25 and NBA 2K Sports of NBA 2K25. That will be on July 17th and the 18th, right in between the two days. If you're looking to find which team you wanted to go for, leave your comments box here below, or I have that poll up here that will be activated soon after this game is finished of the Stanley Cup playoffs and a postseason of NHL 24. But at that moment, we'll see what we can do if another take comes in. In the meantime, time to get back into the third period, and I'll be seeing you all later on the other side for the next part of the game. That's when I'll be on center ice and get ready for our next matchup. See you all later, everybody. Boom around. We hope you enjoyed this part of two periods, where now we're on the final period left. And we're off. We're ready to start things over to finish this game in game number one of the second round. I have a great way to be those two. I'll send it over to you guys for the second period recap. Just did a fantastic job. I was really or I was really noticing they were really starting to make this one appear as a lot harder. That challenging was a little bit of undrucial, and that one was not turning to be what they're saying they are. But I'm really happy enough they were really are starting to get over with, with a lot of confidence and their feelings. It's just not what they always expected to do. Hopefully that the team of the stars is Jason Robertson and Luke Pins. They're trying to find another way to get that. Oh, Jokowski didn't want that and says, get off of me. He didn't want that at all. Now that's what no one is really calling for. That double takedown, that's what was going to be an interference call. Watch out with that. Pavelski lost that puck and now he'll try to swing it over. PC Ahmed Ross shoots it, but saving over doesn't carry as it was missed. Eskinen rules a spin. Ooh, almost had that one going right towards the wall. And now back to Villardi. Villardi fires the puck out. And Harley will have another new group change. Here's another chance for Pence and he loses the puck range. Carry the puck into the corner of the Jets' territory. Group Hayes is behind the net. Watching out here for trouble. And that puck is being completed. And it'll go back and redo it again. Now the Stars are back in the offense now finds Marchman. I follow's got that puck. No offside on the call. Eller shoots. Saved by a Witchwood. DeAndre now finds Lindell. And now he will have to give it over finding the pass. Lindell with no offside of the Stars. The Andra escapes it. And here's Heskinen. Heskinen deleted. Walked up in traffic as Demela tries to get it back. Here's Einfellow. Toward the corner. And it's Puck stolen. And now back to Marchman. Here's another one for Pankapai. Now finds again to Andra. And to Shane. Here's Lindell. The squealer. Save on the glove inbound. By Hellebuck. This was really keeping it in there in control. Not what they all expected to say what they can do. 
the Stars team really has to look for her attack. As the Jets wins the face off, here's the Mello. This again to I follow. Take it along for Nina Moore. Linda has got to fuck out of here. I foul still holding on. Near in net. And it splits him with the puck rebound. Here's advance down to Stanko Bay. Puts it again to Johnston. Puck and just blocked. Bang now finds it again to Lindell. Again to Pankapah. Think about now finding Lindell and over in the middle. Shoots it! No deflection here for Jamie Ben. Back to Stanko Bay and now he gives it again to Johnston. Here's a number take. The Driver's got that puck. Now back on the ice is Sutter. To her shot. Barks like saving him down by Wedgwood. Lowry lost the puck. Oh, no good physical contact out there. Here's Sutter. Off to Stevens and Stank the Red Stank on the play. That was really harmful. What do you expect it now? They were really making this one a mess over. They're trying to go with the battle takedown. That Stars is going to be shooting out fast, but that Jets is like pushing the pace in between. Smith! Ellabuck takes that stop. 15-21 to go in the third period, still tied up. Now with another face-off ready to go. It's still tied. Hang the ball, wins the face-off, and now finds Sutter. Looks like finding fast the fox catch. Shoots it! Unable to be that goaltender. This one stop again by Golova. Here's to Nev, right towards again to Sutter. Sutter now finding Steele over now again to Tenev. Tenev to go for now, defender up from Bosca. Didn't really think get the deflection in. And it's back to Villardi. Here comes Villardi. And that one stays it out. And here's Tenev. We'll clear the buck out of here. Icing's whistled on the Dallas Stars. Got a little bit of tired defenseman here, and then we'll have to try to regroup here. The Jets wins the faceoff. Big hit on the collision as he went down. As Connor now gets back to Villardi. Villardi shoots, save puts up, and it's the net with the rebounding puck. Back to Pavelski. Pavelski trying to have his big tipper in there. On a shot, saved by Hillebuck. Here's the other one to Sutter. Looks for deflection. Sutter, over oh, here, scores! There's a take, sir. Joe Pavelski brings the team up by one. That commitment here for Spiel gives the off again to Joe Pavelski. Line that comes in, and now he's putting in a wrap around it. That's what you do. Look at it before you shoot. And now that Jogodowski has it, that's his never playoff goal. First playoff game and a face-off. Turned out great. I know. Jogodowski has done it really well. Rally around the back and try to fire it in. That's what he does. Keep it out of the air and the same thing that goes with the pressure with a wraparound chance. Ever in the other side, just like the Arizona Coyotes last season in the regular season. This was happening to be the same thing. Had to be another one to take in there. But it's not for long of how that will happen. It had to be clearer at this point to have it messed up. I'll find out if Joe Pavelski has that one with another stopping bound to get a goal and back it again. Back to you. Here comes Pavelski. Oh, big kick! With the rebound, he now finds Robertson. Robertson can't hold it and find a puck open. Look. A big hit play for the total hit for the Jets. That's now finding Ellers with 13 minutes. Take it along by Canelo. The Winnipeg Jets are back into the star zone. Looking open. DeAndre takes a puck steal. Duchesne trying to fall up in a hurry. Here's a chance from behind the net. Listen again to Duchesne. Duchesne for the back end. Stopped by Pelabot. Couches that make the save. Only 12, 34 to go. 
If you're waiting out for the next game, the last one is here for you for game one. As we have the Canucks battling against the Golden Knights, that'll be happening at Rogers Place at 10.30 p.m. Catch all games you around here by watching now on Son of Beast. If you already have subscribed to it, thank you so much for everybody. All that accomplishment is just all that you have earned. You all deserve it. I appreciate your support. On a shot, Gluff saved by Wedgwood. Here in the midway mark of the period, 4-3. We just passed the nearing the midway mark of the period. 4-3 to score. Not a win for Dallas Stars. Let's get it. We'll try to give it over to get to Ben. Ben right toward the corner now will fire the puck around the net to Sigovic. Morrissey's got that puck. Now back to get to Ellers with under 12 minutes. Ellers looking for some trouble down and back. Eskadan will try to carry the puck in. Hooks the back. Now he finds it already again to Sigovic. Sigovic right toward the in the middle. Broken up the play. Johnson trying to battle for the rebound. And Connor's got it now. Solid poke check by Harley. Now finally again to Johnston. Looks again to stink of it. Open rebounding, looking for Ben. Do you get a shot? Not enough to beat there at another glove save by Hellebuck. You know, easier way it does happen now for Connor Hellebuck. It just keeps it going. You gotta have that one with good contact in the mound. Take advantage here. That's what they all have to do to keep on going. For the win, here's Winnipeg Jets, as now Malarney will have the puck. Dumps the puck out. Dallas Stars are back in the offense, trying to pick up by Ben. Looks it now over again. The deep pass to Johnston. Great look. Here's the one for Ben. Good save. And back to Dylan he goes. Oh, Jimmy Ben had that piece of it. Stars were going to wait across right now. Johnston gives the stake of it. Looks again. Good pass. Now finds again a Harley, looks over to get a Stankovic. Stankovic trying to hold it with the puck. And it's Shifeli with the puck steal. Here we go, one on one, fast break. Stop by much one. Nice stop here. They're in a midway mark of the period. Officers again set ready for the face off. Still a 4 3 game. And a win will pay it up for a higher skill challenge for Gang That's right now it's back to Smith. Here's Smith on his way. Steel shot! Denied by the goaltender. So a lot of time left in this period. If you're in Houston, the part of Texas, this is the place for you because the BFDI and MSA are happening here if you're in Dallas, Texas. We also got you one here that will be coming in your way. Hopefully there is a good hangout show that's going to be happening with some objects of some returning cast members for 2024. Hopefully this will be in your way there soon. Hosting the course, Catherine's son, and he's also known. Got a great list to take. And it's all for everybody. If you're in for the show, Houston's got you covered here for the BFDI and MSA tour. If you got your tickets down, that's great. That'll be a new episode released again for the BFDI TBOT episode 11, along with the season 2 return of episode 15 of the Anime Insanity. Save here by Hollowback. 9 on 9 left to go, and if you're ready for a show, enjoy. Let's have a take. We have a good winner as I stand by OJ. Jason Robinson is one of the better snipe. He's really doing one well of the better offense to take. I know it's hard for him sometimes. But it's always great enough when he has a snipe to have that one beat over by the goaltender. He's doing really well. That's my option for the opinion on the equity. Here is another one for Ankapa. Back over to get to Lindell. Lindell can't hold on with that puck. Now if Nabelski will try to give it back to Jason Robertson. And now Ankapa back again to Lindell. Give it a puck alive. Ankapa shot. And stop it, and the penalty's called on Dallas Stars. There will have a two minute penalty kill for interference on Wu Pins. Now, Wu Pins is not really that happening. Don't let this come into a bad start. They are not really liking the call. They are really having a bad day for the Dallas Stars to take over. This was not turning to be great at all. The penalty kill is on Dallas Stars, and the, the, the Jets are going to have to figure it out if they tie this game or not. Now here's the way of young shot, stop by Wedgwood. 
He's going to get a little bit of rest here. Just only 8.27 to go. As it win, stopped by the goaltender. And here's Ellers, gets to get into the Dryder. Heskin and tries to paddle for the puck save. Right between the net, and Johnson will carry the puck out of here. Halibut's got it across again to Preferti. And Ben's got it. Try to watch out from here, Sutter didn't have it. Johnson tries to give it again to Heskin. Plays the puck. And we'll have it out of here. Here's Heskinen trying to get over to get a bend. Redirected, stopped by Hellebuck. Team just set, ready for the faceoff. Starts still in the lead, 4 3. Jets wins the faceoff. Going on back the other way to Morrissey. Here's Morrissey right toward the way. And it's Hypopo with the puck now finding it over again to Lindell. Here's Steele. Takes it across, but now it's Kyle Potter giving it back to Morrissey. Off to Shai Feli. Shai Feli moves it around. Good save by Wedgwood. Unbelievable moment. As it's stopped again by 7 11 to go in the third. When this happens right now, you all got to say for Wedgwood, he has to cover it up on the puck. If something happens, you got to let that one go in. Man it down. Nisher needs to find his way, and this one was going to keep it in there for Wedgwood all the time. Have to be in here for a return to be attended. Just puts it on our face off. Here's Morrissey. Strips. He scores. Sean Monohan ties this game. It's a power play goal for the Jets as they're even up. Now that's what happened now because Sean Morris, Morris uh, Monohan, he just had that one finishing in there. That tape to tape puts it in for Josh Morrissey. When you give it up in an open look, you have that one with going in the goal. Bat range it in there, and that puts him in at the right timing. Stars and Jets are tied with 7.07. And the win will play it in. Here's Harley. Here's DeMello back again to Morrissey, and he'll now have to try to figure it out another way to get through it. Tip the run. Now the Stars will have their possession. Haskin got a little bit kick here, which is a big surprise. Shy Philly back the airway now fighting Connor. Connor for the lead! Block the chain by Westwood. Robinson now gives it off to Joe Pavelski. Pavelski holding his puck in. Stick handling his way in the corner. Often Haskin shoots! Trying to fuck it in there, but it's stuffed again by Connor Hellebuck. On a big inbound, he finds Eskin in over to get Harley. Harley shoots, close save. Six minutes remaining in the third period. Still a tie game, 4-4. Four, four. Now they're all set. Way to do for another takeoff. They're now tied up. Hitch puts the face off as he's already out of the penalty box. After a power play goal for the Jets. And now Houston has Christopher's up. Taking a rebound in there is not going to let him go in. And here's Morrissey. Pass broken up by Joe Pavelski. He's over again to Sutter. Off to Deshane. Deshane gives it over. Pass broken up by Pavelski. And here comes Scheifele. Good stop and bound as Pavelski will have to clear the puck out. And now he's finding Deshane. He passed the march bin. Broken up by Ifollow. And that Duchesne's going to be in the penalty box. He's the next one up. Now that's not going to happen now. He's doing too much. You're not going to attempt to reach it in there. And that's what's giving them a, a bad look. They are giving so many power plays at this point. And this is why. You can't do that. You can't try to like poke it up already. And this is not going to be turning great. Now a chance for the power play for the Jets to take the lead in the third period. And off to win it. Hagapop clears the puck out of here. And you know that the fans are definitely unhappy now. 
it's because of how, uh, how disliking the call there is. And they're really having a bad day already. Yeah, that's not really what they do. I mean, I just can't tell you now that Linda and her team, they're having a little bit of a difficulty timing. But that is what they're trying to do. They have to make sure they don't get properized and they don't want that to be leaving it over. I have a, I have a very bad call on what they're doing, but that is what nobody likes. They're just going to get this one out of here way as soon as they can. And here's Piaf now finds it again to Ellers. Ellers are going to cut it now finding the driver. Here's a shot. Her chance for Elaine has been stopped. Fosca. Lost the puck as Ellers got that puck out of the way. Big hit out of chain. No cut him out. Hank up now finding Steele. He went down and this one goes back again to Perfetti. Here's Perfetti. That's going to watch again. Watch the cut and bound to Ellers. Ellers again to the driver. Redirected it's off again and it's now in the wall. Fosca gives that clear puck ahead. And Ellaba gives it over now back to the Dryder. Winnipeg back in the offense. Big hair collision here. Wow! That's what everybody's been calling for. Every time it happened here, you give a good barrel roll. I mean, you just let him do it like he wants. And here's Monahan. And that ends the power play. You know, what a great perfection here for the Stars. This year. still making a comeback experience after Duchesne out of the belly box. Well, this is what they always expected to do, and they're really not having a perfect day out there. But it's all great for a rebounding, all percentage in there. They really are showing off what they can be. Just got to keep it going until you get make it to make it. Robertson spelled, and a rebound puts in. Look at how to get by Bellabuck. Back to Carly. Carly now gives it again to Marchman. Keeps the play alive. Carly. The pass. Loses the puck. Strike belly with 2.14 to go. Now, Delandro is back on the, on the ring. The rebound! Big here on the play by Heskinen as the save puts up by Wedgwood. Morrissey trying to handle it off now, finding the game to Malari. Big kiss, Smackdown! Now finds Harley. He looks again at Jason Robertson. Here's a shot. A chance for DeAndre shot. Big save. And a roll back again to Jason Robertson after a misfeed connection. Puck stays out of the zone. It's now Hank Puck. Here's how it shoots it. Save by Wedgwood. Lindell trying to keep the puck out of here. And hit. We'll give it over again to DeLandro. Rebound the puck. Here's another chance for Johnston. For a backhand, and a save off again by Helena. One minute remaining in the first period. Hagapop really trying to go alone. Here's Linda. He shoots. Knocked it out of here as Kyle Connor has been blocking up the shot. Hagapop looks it over to Hits. Here's back again to Hagapop. There's a big trouble stick down. I follow will have a chance here for the lead or not. I follow gives again to Morrissey. Great stop of the play here. Here's the trainer. Looks at more. Big stop chain. Motor goaltender save. And he's off to kids. Who pins finds Pavelski. Pavelski makes a sit. Chops the puck up. Nary the bar to the middle. Robertson. And we're going to overtime. That will be the end of a regulation. And we'll get to the next goal right after this. While we have a moment now, let's reveal your, your period statistics in between the regulation period.
And as for a prediction right now, we are ready to see who will take the first goal in game one of round two against the Jets. What you take, guys? Who will it be? I'm going to have to go with the, the preferable moment. If the Stars keeps on doing a penalty, then I think that the Winnipeg Jets are going to get that uh, overtime goal. They really are been like a best play. Since the first game that happened here on the start of the playoffs, they won against the Colorado Avalanche. They really are trying to step it up again. But this is not always easy when you try to do something that is right. And this had to be a good motion step by step between. This needs to be getting there a better timing. You know the angle. Softness is not picking up the steam. And they need to make sure they have it in there at the right time. They gotta look for some help here if they don't have the right choice. Well, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to make the call out of it. I think the Dot Stars, if they are gonna pick up a win, I'm gonna show them up how they're gonna do it. I think that the Dallas Stars are gonna take this goal, and probably they're going to have it back. All right, guys, thank you guys so much. This overtime of this of the Stanley Cup playoffs is brought to you by Adidas, and we are ready to see who goes in. Here we go. Well, it's been a wild night. After the end of a regulation period, let's find out if there's an overtime goal between the two. And here we go. We're off to start things over as Morrissey will start this over. Harley will have the puck. And now, here's another one for Jason, for who hits. He flings the puck. And now this icing has been waved off as Robertson is in the, behind the cage. Now it's time he will have to give it over, finding the pass to Hinskinen. And Harley towards the outside. Finds more room for Gates. Hanks looking for a chance of play. This one's broken up. Pavelski's got it. Pavelski now finds again a Heskinen. And now we'll have to give it over to Pavelski. Give us a little bit more time. Now finding again a Heskinen. Looks it over. Great passing room percentage. Now finding Robertson. Robertson trying to have to hold it back. Excellent look. Pavelski. Watching in here now finds Heskinen. Heskinen looks at Gavin Wilski for a big tipper. Stopped by Gavin by Hellebuck. Keeps the puck alive as Heskinen will have it. And now a new group. Here's Harley. Looks to go over to Pavelski. And this one is loose. Villardi went down. And now here's Connor. Now they're bringing the number two teams up. Pence has got the puck back. There's a new line change. Heskinen holds on. Trying to keep the puck alive. Hanks. Looks his way across. Here's a pass. Holy shit! Mimarano with too much timing. Sean Monaghan. We'll stop it here as Duchesne's got it. Here's a chance. First stop. Not enough to beat that goaltender. And Duchesne has it around the back. Looks again to Lindell. Hunk a pot right to the outside. Gives it again to Lindell. Now it's a new line, changes on the duck knee. Duchesne, Ankapa, looks like back again to Lindell. Great puck movement here. And they're moving around quickly. This is what they all do. Keep the puck moving in there. And if it's something is going in the way, just take the puck back. Try to move it around and again. Try to go for the loose puck on the deck. Marchman finds Lindell, he finds again. Ankapa, nobody in the way. Open room. Big Tipper doesn't hit it off. Duchesne rebounds the puck. New line change. Duchesne has now picked it over to get it to Lundra. Marchman's got it across and now back to Lindell. Here's Hankapa. Nearing the line. He finds Marchman. Looks like right Hankapa. Shoots and fires. It's jumpy bumped up here by Monahan. Now their team is back the other way. Bumped up in the corner of the wards. Stinkleman lost the puck. Here's a chance now to Johnston. Trying to get off a go look. DeMello avoids the puck spill. Lowry didn't hold the puck that long. This Hegepa will now make a new change off. And now that Ben is on the ice rink. The captain looking for some open room. Here's Johnston. Up to Stinkleman. Shoots! So Five, four. It's 
what they all do now. That's what St. Cobain just made a win. You have the credit all down. Well, that open look happened to be with St. Cobain, and this is what the goal had made. After giving up the pass, this is what happened. St. Cobain, wide alone, and goal. What a win for the Stars. It's been a great night already. Why don't we salute to the fans? It's always great enough to have it all known. And yes, we do. We can't wait to appreciate them back in game two. So that wraps it up here, folks. Pete Brush along with Lightfoot and Ballpoint Pen. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and peace till next time. All right, thank you so much. Connor Oliver was a third-star player, 72 saves tonight. And this is what they expected. Jamie Bunn, one goal to assist them two hits. That finishing off there nicely done. And I thought it was a great look. And your first-star player, all for the win, Logan Stankovic. A goal, two assists, and one hit. A winning overtime against the Jets. Here's how he did with the total statistics in between. 77 or 52, 52 for the Dallas Stars over the Charles Shots on goal. Then it was 55 over 47 for Winnipeg Jets on a hit. 1637 or 341 time on attack for Dallas. Then it was 90 percentage over 78 for Winnipeg on the passing percentage. Then 42 faceoff wins over 32 for Dallas Stars. Four minute penalty kill and 22 penalty kills. Too much to call for as there's a lot of them attempts to go with the shots on goal, 3 out of 11 for Winnipeg Jets with 16-23. You know what, this is what they don't do. They are not good enough. They can't be just trying to trip somebody over. That cross a fragment and this is what they all do for, it's a, it's a condiment and they're not really are happy enough to have that in there. But all that said is, no power play goal for Dallas, only 250 items. So that is it right now. I mean, if you hope you enjoyed this game. If you're ready for the next guy, Canucks and the Golden Knights are ready to take their next match at 10.30 p.m. So you don't want to miss that one out. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. As a piece of the world and for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Thanks for tuning in. See you all for the last game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.